Hi, welcome. Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a teardown, a disassemble, and I'll walk you through what are the things that you can upgrade. For example, your RAM, your hard drive, maybe a battery replacement, how to change the CPU fan, maybe applying a new thermal paste or whatnot. All right, so this is the Gram laptop, and let me show you the model number. Turn it around, take a look at the fine print here. At the very back, it says, 16T90P. All right, so that is the laptop. And the first thing we need to do is to pop open those plastic covers. Okay, get yourself a metal prying tool and let's go ahead and start digging. They are double sided tape, so uh, they kind of tape down the rubber stopper. And that rubber stopper needs to be removed therefore you can expose and see that the screws is in there okay once you have done that process the next step is to remove the smaller plastic here maybe go ahead and get yourself a tweezer it's kind of tiny so you need to stick it in Alright, once you have done all that process, the next step is to get a Phillips screwdriver. We are removing all the screws here. It looks like the three screws on the top they are darker in color the rest of other screws are silver and they're all in the same sizes so it is okay if you mix match them the next step is to separate the back cover try to remove the back cover i'm using a plastic prying tool to tuck it underneath and see if i can work around it get some room pop it open so the entire back cover just pop right out okay a quick identify what you're looking at pretty much a lot of empty space here in the laptop and this is the NVMe SSD drive this is the one that holds all your information meaning that your windows your data everything is held onto this hard drive this here entire would be the battery LG and this is your Wi-Fi card and the Bluetooth CPU fan which is the heat sink and the CPU fan the RAM is not increasable so in other words I apologize I thought it's a removable RAM where you can increase your RAM but it seems like it is soldered down onto the motherboard so RAM cannot be increased the only thing you can work on the laptop would be the M.2 drive, change out the battery, and that's pretty much it. All right, so let's get going with that. Uh, first thing I like to do is to remove the connector on the battery. Very simple, you just have to slide it down towards your body. There's no clipper or secure stuff onto the connector. Slide it down, you can remove it. Phillips screwdriver and remove all the screws get to the battery so there are six screws holding down to the battery once you have removed that the entire battery will just pop right out you're not sure where to find the battery replacement model take a look at the bottom right here the top here, LBV7227E. That is the LG model for the battery. Now, if your battery is swollen, or if you feel like a lump on the battery, then that is high indication that you need to change out the battery. 
okay for my case my battery looks good so just wanted to point that out to you this is here is your speaker there are two separate speaker left and right and you just have to disconnect that connector and remove the speaker okay trackpad is underneath here now the next step I like to do is to increase um, if you want to increase your M.2 storage capacity you remove that one screw slide it away from your body so slide it to that direction and that's how you remove it okay now for those of you who are interested to um, let's just say increase the hard drive capacity and what you want to do here is I'm trying to find you okay so um, what you want to do is you can get yourself um, one of those NVMe the larger ones you can go with like one terabyte two terabyte doesn't really matter whatever size you want this is the original from the laptop right earlier that we just removed now what I was trying to do is to introduce you this USB adapter this is the NVMe USB adapter if you're not sure where to buy them check down in the link down description below it will direct you to Amazon uh, and you can get one of this assuming that you buy one terabyte and if you want to you know clone your hard drive I'll make a separate video for you just check uh, in the link down description below you buy one of this adapter you get yourself a newer M.2 a larger one stick it in put the screw in to hold it down stuff it into your um, USB port whatever that is okay and you can clone it over so clone everything over from one to the other meaning that your windows your settings your program your data everything will be look identical onto the newer hard drive all right so there's one option to do that or you can just simply by installing this and then um, install a fresh window now they do have another slot here if you take a closer look what does it say NVMe only this is NVMe SATA 3 what you can do is you can buy one of those hard drive like this this is the NVMe SATA the SATA looks different if you take a look here NVMe SATA regular NVMe M.2 this is the for the SATA 3 you can add additional RAM uh, sorry additional storage capacity onto your computer so so this is the original slide it in okay get the screw back in there remove that screw and you can add additional storage capacity onto your laptop okay so you would have two hard drive in the laptop all right that being said let's move on to the next process see what else we can do here um, let's talk about the CPU fan very simple go ahead and disconnect this cable right here slide it down towards your body and get yourself a screwdriver Phillips screws remove the screws and pop it open now if you can see that the fan is quite dirty I have all this dust right here so go ahead and clean it up okay this is the fan replacement if you want to order go ahead and look out for the uh, serial number right there or the QR code this is a heat sink come here and clean out the heat sink if you take a closer look you can see like it is being blocked come here and dust it off okay all right so the next step is the heat sink for those of you who feel like the computer is overheating or making too much of the uh, high speed fan noise uh, what you can do is you should apply a new thermal paste onto your computer okay so remove that four screws gently pop it open 
you can see that the thermal paste is all dried up right you can see that it, it is all dried up what you want to do is get yourself um, one of these alcohol wipes I'll show it to you here so go ahead and get yourself like alcohol wipes okay alcohol wipes and the thermal compound this is the MX4 thermal paste wipe it off get the thermal paste wipe it off on both sides the heat sink and the CPU and squeeze some of the thermal paste now take a look here this here is the original manufacturer applied amount of thermal paste so when you apply don't listen to anybody that just put like a, a tiny little drip it is not enough you want to apply enough and cover the entire surface overflown outside on the CPU it is fine it won't damage the computer just FYI to you okay very straightforward the rest of it is just the motherboard um, I'm not going to do that because I don't think it is necessary but I'll walk you through in the conversation here so as you can see that the motherboard it held down by one screw two screw three four five and six all right before you remove the screws I recommend you to take a picture of it meaning that make sure you know where the cable is going to go back to these two are your Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth this is your camera for your LCD screen this is the LCD 40 pin connector that goes to the LCD speaker on the left speaker on the right and this is the keyboard all right so those are the cable the trackpad the keyboard lighting and the keyboard uh, cable now back to the question if you ask me uh, what happened if I spill water on a keyboard can it be replaced the answer is no look at the keyboard it is not replaceable keyboard It's one set uh, in other words you need to buy the entire palm rest the trackpad and the keyboard as a one set for the replacement all right um, I hope the video is helpful to you and if you have any question please comment below do not forget to smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't and of course any question regarding about computer comments below I will I will answer you through the comment all right thanks for watching until next time bye now